What's good YouTube, it's Shin, and today I'm coming to you from the MGM Grand where I'm heading to the Greek Sneak Restaurant for a Mediterranean dinner. I've never actually eaten here before, so you know I'm super excited to check it out. Let's head on inside. All right, everybody, here we are, it's Greek Sneak. Now, this restaurant is actually located inside of Crush, which is kind of a cool concept. You go to the back of the Crush restaurant, and there you'll find the entrance into the Greek Sneak. I actually love the rounded brick interior here, really playing up that Mediterranean theme. Not too dimly lit, but it does feel intimate in here just because of the smaller space. I actually really like it here. Now, as cool as it might look, you know I'm definitely all about the food, so let's go ahead and take a look at what they've got to eat, starting with the drink menu. Alrighty, so here is the drink menu. You've got your specialty cocktails here, as well as your wine by the glass. Feel free to take a pause in the video if you would like to take a closer look at these drinks. But you have your beers. Oh, it looks like the dessert is on the back here as well. Yep, nice. And that's the drink menu. Let's go ahead and take a look at what they've got to eat. We've got a nice condensed menu here. Here are all of your appetizers. You've got things like a Mykonos salad as well as uh, hummus and octopus. That looks really good. And then for your mains, you've got wood fire pizzas as well as gyros. Gyros? Gyros? What do you guys pronounce it as? Uh, let me know in the comments. And then here are your entrees. You've got chicken kebabs, sea bass. Oh yeah, this is all looking really, really good. Nice Mediterranean food here. Alrighty, and that's a pretty good looking menu. A lot of classic Greek favorites here, and you know how it goes in my videos. Every restaurant's a buffet if you're willing to pay. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my order in, and I'll catch you in a little bit when my appetizers arrive. All right, everybody, so my appetizers are here. This is looking really good. Let me go and give you a view. I went ahead and got some of their house-made hummus as well as their charred octopus. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna butcher this, the avgole mono soup. A lot of really good looking Greek food here. Let's go ahead and give it a try. All right, first up, let's go ahead and try the avgole mono soup. There's a nice light green tint to this, a big chunk of chicken here as well, and it smells really fragrant. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Yeah, you know, that's very tasty. Now, I've never been able to pronounce this soup, but it is available more or less at any Greek restaurant you go to. And the one here at the Greek Sneak is very good. Really tangy flavor with the soup, just like it's supposed to be. You get a lot of acidic hits from the lemon as well as a real nice freshness from the dill. The chicken broth certainly gives it a little bit of richness here, and the chicken inside is nice and soft as well. It's also very lightly creamy despite not having any milk in it. It's tangy, a little sour, and nice and rich. This is a very good soup. Alrighty, next up, let's go in and try the charred octopus. These come served with potatoes as well as some navy beans and a fava puree. We're gonna go and try the octopus straight up first. Mm. Oh wow, that octopus is actually very delicious. Perfectly cooked, I don't get that chewiness at all. The char flavor is certainly coming through here. And there's a bit of a sweet umami flavor that's also coming from what I believe is a soy-based glaze here. It's a perfectly cooked octopus, great texture, and I love the flavor. This is a good one. I'm gonna go ahead and try the accompanying fingerling potatoes. They just look soaked in butter, which is probably a good sign. Let's go and give it a try. Yeah, the potatoes are nice. I wish they were a little crispier than they are though. A slightly mushy texture for especially a potato that thin wasn't that great. But the potatoes have been able to soak up a ton of the great flavors on the plate, especially coming from that soy glaze. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and try the navy beans. They certainly felt soft on my fork, so I'm looking forward to this one. Yeah, nothing really wrong with that one. Nice cook on the beans, they're soft, which means they've been cooked all the way through. I wouldn't say they impart their own flavor so much as they've soaked up a lot of the other flavors, very similar to the potatoes. But the potatoes definitely imparted their own flavor as well, more so than the beans. Overall, I definitely like this. This is a really great octopus appetizer. Alrighty, everyone, and the last appetizer I'm gonna try today is the hummus. Now, I'm definitely a big fan of hummus, and if you're a good Greek restaurant, you've gotta be able to nail this, so hopefully the one here, the Greek sneak, is good. Let's go ahead and dip this pita in here. And here we go, let's go ahead and give their hummus a taste. Mm. Yep, no complaints for me, that was actually quite good. 
The texture is an ultra smooth, a little bit of graininess in there, which gives it that nice rustic feel. The olive oil is super rich here, which I love. You definitely get the cumin as well as the nuttiness of the chickpeas. And there's also a nice mid layer of some lemon providing some acidity. And it's not heavily spiced, really allowing you to pick apart and appreciate the different flavors. I'd say the pita is a pretty good quality as well. Nice pillowy texture here. And they've been able to give it a nice little crispy exterior with that toast. Now I wouldn't say I'm an authority or anything on hummus, but I know what I like. And the one here at the Greek Sneak is pretty good. I like it a lot. All right, everyone, I'd say a pretty good start to the meal. I'm gonna go and continue working on this and take a bit of it to go because you know I've got another round of food coming. Don't go anywhere, I'm gonna be right back. All right, everyone, and my first set of entrees are here. Let me go ahead and give you a view. I went ahead and got the meatball pizza as well as their steak gyro. Comes with a side of fries and this is looking really good. Let's go ahead and give it all a taste. All right, first up, we're gonna try the meatball pizza. A meatball pizza sounded really good when I read it on the menu, and it comes with a tzatziki sauce on top as well. A little bit of a Greek twist on an Italian favorite. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. You know, that's actually quite tasty. It's a nice thin crust with a lot of crisp. A decently toasty under bottom here shows me that they had a hot oven, but it's really the toppings here that are the star. The tomato sauce is tangy without being too sweet. That's what I like about it the most. The rustically spread cheese does provide a nice rich hit, and the tzatziki sauce is providing a nice cooling richness as well. Now the meatball here is a true winner. I absolutely love it. It's a beef meatball, and it's moist, nice and fatty, and it's been really well seasoned as well. Now it is a very good tasting pizza, but it definitely has a Greek twist. You certainly taste cumin as well as dill throughout the entire bite. Yeah, I'm definitely a fan of the pizza. Alrighty, next up, let's go ahead and try the steak gyro. Now, I already know the pita bread's gonna be great because I tried it with the hummus. The tzatziki sauce on the pizza was great, so I know that's gonna be good as well. It really comes down to the quality of the steak here, and I'm looking forward to finding out. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. Yeah, that's a good gyro. No real complaints with the pita, it's really good. The tzatziki sauce is definitely providing its nice tangy cool flavors here. And I'll say the steak is very good. Cooked to a nice medium rare, it's incredibly tender. But I will admit the flavor of the beef itself is kind of an afterthought here. I'm not sure if that's because it's under season or the other flavors are so robust, but I really didn't get too much of that steak flavor until I just tried biting some of the steak on its own. The tomatoes here are fantastic, perfectly ripe, and they're imparting such a nice sweet flavor. The red onions here are providing a little bit of bite, and all in all, it is a pretty good gyro. Alrighty, last but certainly not least from this first round, I'm gonna go ahead and try the accompanying fries. I mean, these feel pretty good. Hopefully they stack up. Well, I guess not everything can be a hit. Unfortunately, those fries were definitely lackluster. Now, despite the fact that you might be able to see a little bit of cheese here, overall, the fries are relatively unseasoned. Now, unfortunately, they're pretty greasy and my fingers are all shiny now. Not my favorite french fry in the world. All right, everybody, and that's the first round of entrees here at the Greek Sneak. I'm gonna go and take a couple more bites and take the rest to go because I've got another round of entrees coming. Don't go anywhere, I'm gonna be right back. All right, everyone, so my second round of entrees is here and this is looking really good. Let me go and give you a view. I went ahead and got the roasted sea bass along with their feta stuffed half chicken. Both of these entrees are looking incredible. Let's go ahead and give them a try. All right, first up, let's go ahead and try the sea bass. You can actually see how moist this is. It's glistening in the light. I'm definitely looking forward to this. Oh, wow, that is excellent. You would not believe the texture of this fish. It is absolute perfection. It's firm, flaky, and moist. My hat's off to the chef. Their timing was perfect. This tomato cream sauce is such a beautiful accompaniment and it's incredibly delicious. Very reminiscent of an Italian vodka sauce. A mellow tang from tomatoes, but a nice creamy base. You definitely get a little bit of freshness from the parsley and then you also get in on those capers, giving that nice little salty olive-like taste with a little bit of acidity. I am in love with this sea bass dish. It is really good. Alrighty, last but certainly not least is gonna be my feta stuffed half chicken. Now, as I was cutting into this, the skin was ridiculously crispy. 
which is always really great when it comes to a half chicken like this. I'm excited for it. Let's go in and give it a taste. Huh, you know, I think I must have missed it. It's well cooked, but it doesn't taste anything different from just a normal salt and pepper chicken breast. I must have 100% just missed the feta or any other additional seasonings. I kind of refuse to believe that this is supposed to be what the flavor is. I want to give it another try. Round number two. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I got what they were going for. I'm not sure if I'm super impressed though. It literally just tastes like what it describes, salt and pepper chicken with feta cheese. I thought I might experience a little more depth of flavor here, but it's not exactly complex. Let's go and try dipping it into this accompanying chicken jus though. Maybe this will add another dimension. All right, now that's what I'm talking about. That was definitely the extra dimension I needed with this dish. That jus is salty with just a hint of lemon providing some acidity and a nice concentrated chicken flavor from being reduced. Now that I know what it can all taste like, I definitely wish there was more of this jus to go around. Personally, I would just drown the entire chicken in it. Now that said, the execution of the cook on the chicken was really great. Super crispy skin, not dry in the center at all. And for what it's worth, it was well seasoned, albeit very simply. I would say about a third of the chicken didn't actually have any feta in it. And it's not until you get that jus applied that the flavors really set off. Given the choice, I would get that roasted sea bass 10 out of 10 times over this chicken. All right, everyone, a nice second round of entrees. I'm definitely gonna kill the rest of this sea bass. It's so good. And then afterwards, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get a dessert delivered to the table. Don't go anywhere. It's definitely gonna be time for some sweets when I come back. All right, everyone, I've been able to box up all my leftovers and it's definitely time for some sweets. Let's go and take a quick look at the desserts. Uh, looks like three options here. You've got the panna cotta, the baklava, as well as the sticky toffee cake. And I think the sticky toffee cake is what's calling out to me tonight. So I'm gonna go and put that order in. But for you at home, I'm gonna go and make it appear right now. And here it is, the sticky toffee cake, and it smells incredible. I'm so looking forward to this. Now, I can't say I've tasted too many sticky toffee puddings outside of the ones at Gordon Ramsay's restaurants. So I'm definitely looking forward to this. Wow, that's wonderful. Firstly, you get the really cool and smooth vanilla ice cream. Then you get to bite into one of these little chocolate balls, which I wanna say some kind of a nut, maybe almonds inside, which is providing a really great flavor. Now, as the initial creamy and nutty flavors dissipate, you're greeted by a nice little cinnamon hit before eventually giving way to a beautiful toffee cake. It's moist and sweet and a really nice way to round out the bite. Very good sticky toffee cake here. All right, everybody, and that does it for my meal here at the Greek Sneak at the MGM Grand. Now, my dinner came out to $223 today before tip, and definitely I had a great dinner. Favorite dishes of the night, hands down, has to be that octopus appetizer as well as that roasted sea bass. And ending the meal with the sticky toffee cake was really nice as well. Now, I wouldn't say I'm a super Greek food aficionado, but I definitely had a nice meal here. I think they got a pretty good thing going. Now go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. I would love for more people to see it. And if you enjoy food content from here in Las Vegas, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I've got a lot of great stuff coming your way. And that's all for this one. Have a great day and I hope you enjoyed Vegas with me. Shin, bye.